Now, come on. It's obvious by now you all know I love an egg for breakfast or brunch, especially when it has a kick and it's packed with flavour. That's why today I'm going to show you how to make shatsuka. But trust me, not any shatsuka. This is a green shatsuka. Right, please, Oscar, pan down. Green, we know it's the North African beautiful spicy dish, but we're going green, OK? Beautiful fresh kale, asparagus, young courgettes, pea tendrils, chives, fresh peas, and then we're going to put the eggs in there and do a fast bake without even going to the oven. Right, let's have 10 minutes on the clock, please. Now, this dish is a beauty, but the secret behind this is that we're going green, not red. Everyone's done this, literally, with those tomatoes and spice. We're going to do this thing a little bit differently, OK? Take your courgettes, top and tail them, and let's just get a little bit of sort of life inside a courgette. Don't just slice it down. Slice at an angle, and you'll see the difference. Again, open it up. We start off with a little touch of olive oil, OK? Courgettes go in and literally bring that heat up. They're going to take the longest to cook, OK? so. Obviously, they go in first. Again, hold them down and just slice them lengthways. OK? Now, why green? It's such healthier. I love the healthy side to this and that nice, vibrant green flavour. Right, gas on. I've got my griddle pan ready for my bread. Turn the gas up and let's get some heat in this pan. Now, the secret here is to sort of start building up those layers. I got my baby courgettes in there. Look what I'm going to do with the shallots. I'm not going to chop them, I'm just going to slice them. I want to keep them nice and whole. But check out the colours. The colours are beautiful. And this is the kind of dish that you can literally sort of start off and finish in the oven. I'm going to do this in 10 minutes as the longer version that can literally take 20 minutes and you start culling the vegetables and they go into the oven. I'm going to show you live how we can do this whole thing here in front of us. So, shallots, courgettes, get your kale and just literally slice through there like that, OK? And all we're doing now is just sautéing the greens. I love the smell of that sautéed kale. It's so delicious. And sometimes we don't eat enough of it. In our household, kale has become the new sort of the new salad. Every time I put a layer in there, all I'm doing is just seasoning it, OK? Touch of heat, a little touch of salt, a little touch of chilli over there. And then from there, I've got this beautiful infused chilli oil. I'll put a touch at the bottom now as we start building up those layers. And then look, Oscar, pan down, please, pan down. Now, from there, that's looking pretty decent. The asparagus, again, don't slice them up. Just literally snap them. They don't need to be chopped. They're fresh asparagus. They're young asparagus. They cook in, like, three minutes, so just snap them. They don't even need peeling. Why would you peel something that thin? Peel it, you've lost half of it. We don't need to. Right, now the base is in there, OK? I've got some chives. Again, I'm going to do nice, large batters of chives. I want the flavour, that nice, beautiful, light, oniony flavour. Fresh parsley, fresh mint, fresh basil. You can see why we're going green now. Give that a little stir. Beautiful. Really beautiful. All those greens are starting to wilt down. The chilli's taken on. The courgettes are roasting, so we're sort of getting rid of that water. And now it all starts to break down. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Thank you. Now, in here, I've got my double cream. Next to that, I've got my cream cheese, OK? This is going to give that nice, sort of, rich thickness to the dish. Mix that in. Half cream, half cream cheese. But give that a nice whisk. Season it, OK? Touch of salt, touch of pepper, Touch a chili in there, and that's going to incorporate the spice. Now, before that, 
in with my fresh peas, okay? Peas are in. Now that smell is incredible, okay? Look at that, beautiful. So lovely. We've all seen the shashika that is done with the tomatoes and the spice and the baked eggs. This is a really nice way of lifting it up. Now, look at that. Now for the intriguing part. Touch of that cream in there. Mix that in. Now look at it. Now we're starting to add a completely new layer on there. And that is going to reduce down. Please, Oscar, pan down, pan down. Look at that. It's like this beautiful green vegetable stew. Look at that. Healthy, delicious. Touch more cream in there. And with that cream cheese in there, this sort of lifts everything. Turn the gas down a touch. And look. Beautiful. Mix that in first. Keep the heat in the pan, OK? Little taste. Create the seasoning. Mm, touch more salt. That's beautiful. Really good indeed. Now, those vegetables are somewhat half cooked. So create three little pockets. One, two, three. OK, get your eggs. Flat surface and crack that egg on there nicely. Second one. Crack. Number two. Now, you're probably thinking, how are we going to cook this without going in the oven? Number three. Watch. I've got my eggs in there. I'm going to put that nice little layer of cheese, OK? And then what we're going to do is turn the gas down, OK? Right down. Right down. Get your pan, frying pan. And just turn that around for my convenience and literally sit that on there. OK, time, please. Right, three minutes to go. So, eggs are cooking there now. I've turned the gas right down. Yes, you can put that in the oven if you wish, OK? I'm just going to show you a way of actually cooking those eggs. And put the lid on there literally gets it done for you without going in the oven. Now, the bread. There's something quite nice about having a sort of nice, toasted, beautifully done slice of bread on the side. And this dish is sort of finished with a bit of yoghurt to cool it down. So, we get our bread, our seasoning, rub it all in, and then we go on to this beautiful little... And again, push it down, get those marks working. OK. Time, please. Two minutes, kid. Two minutes, kid. Don't draw it out. Just give two minutes. You can ask. Oscar, pan round, pan round, look. Pan round, there's the team. Pan round. There you go, there you go. <laughs> right, Oscar, pan down, look at this. Lid comes off. Look at that. Eggs already cooked. The whites are cooked, but the yolks are still literally a little bit raw in there. The gas is coming off there now. I'm happy with that. Have you ever seen an egg cook that quickly? So good. Now, finally, how do we finish that? We dust a light smattering, OK, of cheese. I've got my beautiful infused chilli that's going to dab around the outside. The smell of this is even sending the dog into overdrive. That won't stop barking. And then just a touch, literally, of some fresh yoghurt. And just drop it in the middle there. That little tartness lifts up. Time, please. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. We've got to go. Go. And then, bang. From there, your pea tendrils. That gives a little lightness. Just a touch there. Don't overdo that. Time to turn my bread over. And literally, oh, 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 oh. Come on, man. Do you know what? That chilli is so tasty. OK. That chilli drizzles around the outside. 60 seconds to go. And then I'm just going to literally finish up there. But watch. Please, pan down, Oscar. I'm get my knife. Pop that egg yolk in there. That one there. And this egg yolk here, pop it. Look at that. I want that egg running in there. And then, boom. I go one, 
I go two, I go three, I go four, and there you go. Along with the rest of the country going green, my shoshuka, green, done. To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologise, but slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10, cookbook inspired by this series. And trust me, you're going to come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.